my saturn is going to enter this house in transit what does it mean what will happen so what what exactly happens when saturn transits a particular house does it mean there are hardships which come in that house alone and in not any other house or mm, maybe in a group of houses oh no maybe wherever it is placed in transit and wherever it's aspect maybe there's trouble there in those four houses right because saturn aspects three houses so what is the secret of a transiting saturn what what exactly manifests when saturn transits a particular house or when he transits over your natal planet so for example now saturn is in aquarius today's date is 29th october 2023 and saturn is in aquarius is retrograde so what if you have venus on in aquarius in your original birth chart original birth chart your own birth chart in the d1 chart all right so what exactly does it mean does it always mean that there are troubles which are coming well yes and no sometimes yes uh sometimes not necessarily so today that's what we are going to discuss you know when what you can expect where okay and for whom all right so interesting topic stay tuned and if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe this video and i hope you are having a great day of the eclipse if you are in india especially and already had it yesterday if you are from the west and yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me, my website will always be down in the description section. All right. So what is Saturn? What is Saturn's transit? Saturn represents difficulties, delays, hardships, troubles, things which you do not like about yourself or about others. Okay. So this is what Saturn represents. So there are certain things within us which we don't like, right? Do you love everything about yourself? <laughs> Certainly not, right? Nobody loves everything about themselves. You may love yourself in general, but there are still shades which you don't like about yourself. Those or other, I should say, there are things which you know is not good but you are somehow not able to improve it that is what is saturn saturn shows difficulty many times people think difficulty is you know external difficulty but uh -huh, most of the times saturn is showing internal difficulties okay so it means it shows our own shortcomings and our own lack of self-control lack of discipline basically so when saturn transits a particular house from your ascendant you know transits are always studied from the ascendant all right the dasha calculation is from the moon so when saturn is transiting a particular house what happens is he exposes some of your weaknesses in regards to that house this is it's as simple as that which means you may feel that this area of life is perfect for you but then saturn transits that house so let's take example Saturn is transiting your seventh house. Okay. <clears throat> so you feel, oh, I, I have a great marriage. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> so when Saturn transits your seventh house, he will do one of the two things. If your married life is good. Now, what do I mean when I say good marriage? Good means you, you and your partner, you are being uh, the best. Okay. The best doesn't mean like the best, but you are trying your best to uh, take the institution of marriage to the next level. Okay, you are helping out each other. You are doing uh, spiritual activities, practices together. You know that um, rather than just uh, seeing like football, cricket, indulging in wine, meat eating, you know, and all this nonsense. So, if you have some higher goals, uh, then it becomes easier to uh, set aside your differences and difficulties and challenges and disappointments, rather, right? But if you do not have higher goals, then married life at best is neutral or miserable. Most of the cases, married life is miserable. In Kali Yuga, if you see, for materialistic people, uh, they are very much suffering. Okay, They are suffering because of so many problems. But now, what happens? Saturn transits your seventh house. Then what happens is, there are certain things which you are always doing and your spouse had no problem with it. Now, suddenly he or she will start having problem with it. 
<laughs> and you will blame Saturn. Oh, look, the this planet of problems is in my house of marriage, which is another house of problems sometimes as for some people. So two problems together, right? Oh my God, double problem. <laughs> But actually, it is not that there is some new problem. It is some old existing problem which was always there. But somehow, because of your karma, your spouse was neglecting that or overlooking it. But now, your husband or wife will not overlook it. Now, they are like, hey, how dare you do this? I will not let you do this. <laughs> If you want me to stay with you, you cannot do that. You have to stop. <laughs> and then you're like, oh my God, what's this? You are never like this. <laughs> you are never like this. You're changing now. It's because of my Saturn. Saturn is transiting my seventh house. That is why you are changing. No, you are not changing. You are the same. But now your weaknesses are exposed. The nonsense which you are doing is now getting exposed. So whoever blames Saturn when some problem occurs in that house during transit. So for example, now Leo Lagna. For Leo Lagna, Saturn is transiting your seventh house as the seventh lord. So now if you are feeling that my marriage is not working or it won't work, then it means there is something that it does not certainly mean 100%, but there's a very high probability that you are doing something, you are, you are self-sabotaging your marriage, not now, from many, many years. And now your partner's tolerance has been breached. Okay, so now he's saying, now she's saying, no, I won't tolerate this. Either change or we don't stay together. So therefore, Saturn's transit in a particular house gives you an amazing opportunity to explore your weaknesses and conquer them. Because if you do not conquer those weaknesses now, it can happen that by the time Saturn is about to go to the next Rashi, things can break. Okay, Because when Saturn is transiting in a sign, what happens initially he entered Aquarius. Then he went retrograde. Okay, so retrograde means he's relatively going back from the motion of the earth, respectively. But uh, then what is happening is you are getting a chance now. So when the planet is direct, so Saturn is transiting, he's direct and he's slowing down and he's stationary around this time. That is the time, the first stationary period of Saturn for a new zodiac sign. That is the time when you come into contact with reality. That yes, now you have to change. This will not work. Same thing with profession. If Saturn is transiting your uh, 10th house, right? Currently, Aquarius is your 10th house. You, you have to change in your profession. There are certain things which you are doing which is not in your best interests. And in general, Saturn's transit will expose your laziness, procrastination, and this, this attitude, that, oh, we will see when it is required, you know, just, just delay it and just do nothing about it. When time comes, you know, when the, uh, when you can't no longer avoid it, that is when you do it. It's like, you know, you... <clears throat> Things which you always do at the last moment, that is exposed. Okay, so if your planet uh, Saturn is transiting a particular house and you are facing difficulty, don't see the present. Go back five years. Five years doesn't mean exactly just go back five years. From now, gradually see what have you been doing there from last five years. <clears throat> just see what are you doing there. Okay, if, if you feel you are doing things which are not very good, then, uh, well, you have to change it. Either you change or you lose your job. Either you change or you get separated from your spouse, right? So, this is like the overall theme. But then there is a catch here. You have your Mahadasha, Antardasha. So, for example, if your Saturn is transiting the 2nd, 7th or 11th in transit, 
and the mahadasha lord is either indicating the sixth house or the tenth house okay so for example you are a capricorn lagna and saturn is now in your second house because aquarius is second house so he's transiting your second house and in your original birth chart as a capricorn ascendant you are running the mahadasha of the sixth lord so for capricorn who is the sixth lord the sixth house has gemini so mercury is your sixth lord so he's also your ninth lord but for the moment he is the sixth lord so if you are having saturn transiting in the second house and your mercury mahadasha or mercury antardasha is going on then that adds to the difficulty because now if the dasha lord is indicating sixth house then it means your spouse is really pissed with you your spouse may not want to stay with you so now there is no now there is no escape you have to change okay you have to there's there's no scope of course all these things i am saying keeping into general parameters you know general means like you are not in a abusive marriage or you know <laughs> your boss or your spouse is not exploiting you uh, and there is no like violence and all this you know i am keeping aside all those extreme scenarios but i am speaking of general life you know in general like plus and minus in that context okay so whenever saturn is transiting a particular house you have to act on it you have no free will you have no choice now you still have the free will but if you do not act there will be disastrous consequences so rather than fearing that oh my saturn is transiting this house that house this will happen that will happen rather than uh, creating morbid fear for yourself or for others you just simply need to act and improve that thing okay so if you do it then uh, you will realize that this is not a bad transit this is a transit which is helping me to go to the next level actually otherwise if you are resisting it there will be disastrous consequences and you may lose the battle okay so or it's like saying you know you may win the battle but you may lose the war okay so resisting saturn is like winning the battle but losing the war so you may win in the short term but long term you fail you lose all right so if you do not want to lose in life in the areas in the area where saturn is transiting do not fight it do not resist it fight with it if it is bringing something don't fight against oh no no i won't be like this i will not change no you have to change go and as somebody said right be the change you wish to see who said that <laughs> all right so please understand that saturn is your friend but he is not that friend who is only speaking sweet words to you okay he will speak poisonous things to you sometimes okay he is like the hala hal poison which lord shiva drank all right that is what is actually shani which is you know pain bitterness you know difficulty struggle delays patience tolerance perseverance oh my god should i say more all right so very interesting the transits of saturn so whenever somebody is telling me that this area of life is not improving for me i always ask them what is that you know you should do in that area which you are not doing and the same rule applies for aspects and transit over natal planets also so if your seventh lord is in aquarius now and your Sat and saturn in transit now is in aquarius okay where your original seventh lord is so it means if your original in your original birth chart if your saturn is also in aquarius and if you are leo lagna right then saturn is not only in your seventh house in transit but because your seventh lord is also in the seventh is also on the top of the seventh lord right so then it can make matters even more critical because now the lord is also under uh, impact of saturn all right so or it can also work for venus because venus is the karaka for marriage right so if saturn is transiting over your natal sun then you know some issues could come up in regards to profession so you do not have leadership capabilities and you 
yeah you took some job which you knew you should have not taken but because of your karma you got it and now you are suffering okay so please understand that when saturn is transiting a particular house always under promise and over deliver should i repeat always under promise and over deliver because in that house you will have a tendency to over promise and under deliver okay never over promise and under deliver better is to under promise and over deliver otherwise you lose out on people right all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your patience if you are new then please like the video and also subscribe <laughs> to the channel and for consultations you will find my website below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you